This rock buns recipe is extra rich and extra yummy. You would love it. As in, this buns recipe is so crunchy on the outside, yet so soft and rich on the inside. Now, let's get right into this video. We are using 500 gram of flour, and I'm going to be adding all my ingredients. I'm using powdered milk, half cup of powdered milk, two tablespoons of sugar, half tablespoon of baking powder half teaspoon of nutmeg then i'm going to add a little bit of vanilla essence you can decide to use any flavor of your choice but i just combine vanilla essence and nutmeg i added two eggs and i added half cup of your condensed milk you can tell this recipe is going to be extra rich i just added in my vanilla essence I added 50 grams of butter you wouldn't want to add too much butter because you know you're going to be frying this recipe you don't want your bones dripping with oil at this stage, I'm going to add in my water. Add in your water gradually until you can get your batter to be as thick as possible. One of the secrets you need to know in getting the perfect rock bones is that your batter should be thick. If your batter is not thick as possible, you will come back getting soft bones, not the rock bones. So I'm adding the water gradually as you can see here. I really want a thick batter consistency. You don't want your batter to be so thick as if you are making it grow. At the same time, you don't want it to be so light as if you are making your puff puff or the regular recipe so at this stage after mixing I realized that I needed to add a little bit more water I just added a little bit and went on now to mix my butter now you will look closely and find out this is the consistency we are going for you can see it is thick it's not watery it is really thick and I think this is the best um, consistency you need to get the perfect rock bones follow me carefully in this video there are secret tips and tricks I'll share with you in this video that will help you to get your bones to be so crunchy or rocky and extremely appealing at the same time you just allow your butter to rest for like five minutes while you allow your oil to heat up now take note here after placing your oil on the fire to heat up for like three to five minutes depending on how high your heat is get ready to cut your butter into the oil now this is how you cut i'm going to show you two methods you can either scoop your butter and cut it like so as though you are cutting the regular bones which is the eye gorge method or the second method which is actually my favorite method whereby you go on now to scoop your butter and when you get to at the side of your bowl you roll your butter at the side of the bowl and gradually drop it into the oil i love the second method for my bones recipe since my butter is thick now i'm going to cut a little bit of my butter into the oil and when it is bubbling gradually like so i'm going to go on now to cut my bones into the oil since you are going for rock bones your butter should not oil should your bones should not be bubbling so much much. you can see how it is bubbling slightly yes this is what you want to get because the temperature of the oil if it is not so hot it helps to form the crack around the bones you can see the bones has finally floats to the top of the oil once you notice the crack you desire increase the temperature of the oil or the temperature of your oats your stove or gas to medium but when you are cutting it into the oil it should be on medium low increase it to medium and you will see the crack around this is me flipping the bones you can see how appealing it looks already it is frying it is so good the crack is everywhere that is what make an appealing rock bones now the color of the bones is because of the condensed milk and the amount of sugar if you are somebody that doesn't really like sugar you can reduce your sugar from two tablespoons which i use in this recipe to one tablespoon alongside with the condensed milk now our bones is ready i'm going to take it out of the oil it came out so big because of the baking powder and because i allowed it to crack the cracking helps it to increase inside and make it look wider than it would have looked so this is what we got at the end of the day i feel this is the perfect rock bones you can see the crack all over you can see how hard and crunchy it even looks while from the video and when you cut it in the inside is so soft and if you look carefully you will see that even if i did fry it on low heat based on the trick i taught you it doesn't look like what absorbs this oil you are not seeing it dripping with oil so if you apply the secret tips i showed in this video you will come back having the perfect rock bones every time and everyone would love your recipe thank you so much for stopping by my channel to like share and subscribe god bless you